The glaciers are some of the best indicators of climate change that is occurring. The August stream flow off the Bow River at Banff has dropped 25% in the last century. So we're already heading into trouble. If we let a system be inundated with nutrients to the point where the water quality is so poor that it can't be used, then we've lost a major resource. 70% of the world's liquid fresh water, which is what we rely on, is held within the boreal forest. Water security is one of the big challenges that society has to face. What we're doing at the University of Saskatchewan, and in particular at the Global Institute for Water Security, is fairly unique worldwide. We've got um, a, a great concentration of expertise and skill, and we're bringing them together and focusing that to address a set of key challenges. So the Saskatchewan River Basin is a major focus for us. It's a transboundary river basin. The water arises from the Rocky Mountains in Alberta, the river flows to Saskatchewan and then on to Manitoba. It's half the size of France, home to about three million people, but it has most of the challenges that we see in water worldwide. The problems of water scarcity, the problems of degrading water quality, the problems of extreme events, the issues of climate change and the northern latitudes, of course, are at the forefront of global warming. And then some of the more local problems associated perhaps with rural communities and First Nations and the challenges that they have in managing the provision of clean water supply and, and sanitation. The Saskatchewan River Basin is home to major natural resources. So we've got um, mining, uh, oil and gas, all those extractive industries. So we're also tackling the problems associated with sustainable use of water resources and the sustainable disposal of the wastes from those industry activities. We have around 100 academics and senior researchers, another 100 graduate students and uh, junior researchers working on water security from all different aspects, biology, ecology, civil engineering, geology, geography, uh, social sciences, law and policy. We feel we have one of the greatest uh, concentrations of interdisciplinary expertise in the world and we're working in a very intimate environment. Within the basin we've focused on developing the kind of experimental facilities that we need to look at the changing biomes, the Rocky Mountains, the boreal forests, the prairies, the water quality of our lakes and rivers. It's actually recognised by the World Climate Research Programme. It's one of just 10 regional projects in the world where people come together to study the large-scale problems of water management in a changing climate. Within the basin, the major responsibility for water management lies with the provinces. So it's a very complex process of water sharing for equitable use of those resources. One of the things that we're developing is the first integrated water resource model of the whole basin. And it's a model that we've designed to be interactive, so anybody can sit down at the computer and, and they can play with this model. They can look at the challenges of long-term drought, what will happen with climate change, proposed expansions of irrigation to meet world food needs, and the risks associated with these management options. The University of Saskatchewan is committed to providing policymakers and the public with the best information possible to lead decisions that affect our watersheds. This will help ensure clean water flows through our lakes, rivers and streams, that growth and economic development are managed sustainably, and that our communities are protected from the risks of flood and drought. Our future depends on it. <laughs>